Like, do you have uh, any specific questions for me, like, like right now, before we start the replay? Anything you want to know? Ah, uh, alright, alright. So, so you don't have any questions that did not happen in this game? Okay. <laughs> I got you. Did you first pick Haskell? No, I mean the, the previous game. Oh, okay. Alright, so you went mid, right? Okay, do you do you read all of my uh blogs or just some? Okay, any any blogs that you read, like I post every Monday except for except today. Okay, did you read the one? Did you read the one uh, regarding mid lane? Did, did you finish that? Correct. Yep, correct. Alright, so uh, let me ask you this specifically. Do you want me to look at uh, like your laning phase, your mid game, or, or whatsoever do you want me to look at? Or do you want me to look at everything? Okay. Okay, how about we do it this way? Um, if we have time, we do the early game later on. How's that for you? Okay, uh, what, what time do you want me to skip it to? Which game time? Fifteen? Alright, but let's, let's go ten, let's go ten. Alright, made it 10, you got all these, your career is nothing, right? I assume that your career is nothing. Okay. Okay. Um, Alright, let me just pause this here. So by minute 10, having these items is decent, but uh, to really win your lane, are you, what, what do you think of your last hitting? Okay, sounds good. Alright, okay. Um, looking at your quick buy here, yes. have you ever thought of going Dragonlands? Yes, I want to go Dragonlands after this. After Silver Age? Yes. Okay, let me ask you um, this question. What do you think Silver Age gives you this game? Okay, why not Shadow Blade? Why not just Shadow Blade and then you build a Dragon Lance after all? Like, what does the whole Silver Age give you specifically? Okay. Okay, but is that uh what do you call this? Like. 3k more compared to yeah. a, a shadow blade is, is that worth it for a, a what seven second cooldown more less is that worth it why not get a 3k on uh, a whole dragon lance and some more items like do you get what i mean yeah. like is is this 3000 correct is this 3000 investment worth it just for the few seconds of invisible right 
Correct. So, okay, so it makes sense, right? Like, okay, so the whole thing about Silver Age is maybe you want to, uh, what do you call this? Break Sven's Cleave or Haskar's third spell, uh-huh. right? But in this case, uh, all of you are physical, so you don't even have to care about Haskar. W- would you agree that? Haska totally counters magic, but all of you, all of you here are physical, right? So basically, there's uh, absolutely no reason to go a whole Silver Age. Would that make sense? Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, a bit different build, right? Okay, Um, if you want to try a different build, I really recommend sometimes going Shadow Blade uh, first, sometimes going Dragon Dance first. Depending on uh, which item you go, you have to play differently. Like, let me ask you, uh, before we proceed with, the re- proceed with the replay, okay, like, what should you do once you get your uh, Shadow Blade and your ulti is level 2? What's the next thing that you should do? Gang. Gang, right? Like Shadow Blade right into the carry lane and then you, you're on your out, right? Okay, so uh, it's very different if you get a Dragon Lance first. So what do you think a Dragon Lance gives you? Okay, what else? Range, right? That was the answer I was looking for. <laughs> okay, so if, if it gives you a lot of stats, like crazy amount of stats, and you got it in minute 12, okay, it's 1,900, right? So let's say you got this power and you got it in minute 12. Okay, so how much can you do with the amount of stats? Would you continue farming? Or would you continue pushing another lane? What do you think you should do? Pushing another lane, right? Okay, so if you got a Dragon Lance in this build, you would be breaking 3 towers in 30 minutes. How much money is that? That makes sense, right? That's that's a huge amount of money. And stats. Exactly, exactly. Right? So, if you got, if you got a Shadow Blade, you would be ganking and ganking and ganking and ganking, but how how much can you really shut down uh, if enemy has five carries like right here? They have like five cores. So how many times can you gank with Shadow Blade and Ultimate? Is it uh, is it effective? Like to shut down one of them at a time? Right? Not effective, right? So how do you play against five cores? Pushing. Pushing. Okay, so like uh, what we established just now, what item would help you push like crazy in the first 15 minutes? No, what we established just now. It, it, it is attack speed, like what item specifically that we just, we just said, we just discussed. Yeah. yeah. So in this game, uh, what I would have done, I would go Dragon Lance first. So I would break 3 towers in 15 minutes. Right? So once you break 3 towers in 15 minutes, and then I'll get my Shadow Blade, and then I'll gank. I'll gank and I'll push, I'll gank and I'll push. So I rinse and repeat this whole thing until we, until we break all their tier 2s. Right? So once you get your Dragon Lance, and then you break 3 towers, you, you'll get your Shadow Blade much quicker. Instead, you get your Shadow Blade first. Right, right? Okay, so every time, um, the pre-game starts, like in the strategy strategy phase, always think about what you can do in um, in the game. Call, we got this, factoring in five of your teammates and five of the enemies, like what you should do, what's your strategy to win this game, right? Okay, so in this game, even, even you knew how to answer is that 
the answer is push because they have five cores. And then you're crazy strong right now. You're so many levels higher than them, right? I think. Yeah, you're level 11. And the second one is level 9. So you're crazy strong. So the thing is that when you build a whole Silver Age, you know how uh, unworthy it is. Okay, was there a question that you want to ask? Okay, so uh, you were thinking that if if your five five of you farm and then five of them farm, you think that you win the late game, right? Is that is that what you're saying? Hello. Hello. I think we just disconnected for a while. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello. Yeah, I can hear. You. I can hear you. Hello. Yeah. What 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 you were asking was was it um if five of you farm and then five of them farm you would win the late game. Was that what you were asking? Would get fat and then the game would get much harder. Alright, okay, there's okay, this right, you have to think one step further whenever you try to gang someone. Okay. Like let's say right now. Okay, like, let's say right now. What information do you have? Okay, let's go back ten seconds, alright? Oh my god. Again, sorry. All right. Let me ask you, like, when you're trying to break this tower, what information do you have on the minimap right now? Nothing. Nothing, right? So, what makes you think that you can push this lane without your teammates? What makes you think this way? Like, what gave you the confidence, or do you just do it because you wanted to do it? Right, so you 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 knew that if both of you went for this tower and five of them appeared, let's say let's say they let's say they appeared here, right? What could you have done? If the raking if the raking ran out and then he stunned you, no, you would die, right? If five of them appeared here, they ran straight out to you. Would you die? Let me ask you this question, right? So this uh this move is. Is it isn't a good move because they would come out and then they would gank you. So this isn't a good move because you have no information. You have absolutely no information of the media because you can't see them anywhere. Okay, what I would do if I was uh Shadow Fiend right here, I would myself I would buy a ward. Okay. Alright, so do you play a lot of support? Sometimes. <laughs> okay, so whenever, like now, right, you have no support pick, right? So who is going to do the warding? If I was going to ask you this question, who is going to do the warding just to secure your push? None of them, right? So, uh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Right? Yeah, you, you thought of that, right? You need to do it. So, if I were you, I would get a ward, okay? 
okay, let me ask you this question. When you're trying to push the bottom tier one dire, where should you walk to, to guarantee your safety? At that uh, dire room. Dire room here? High ground. Here, right? Uh, that, I mean, a bounty room. Bound? Okay, so, so here, right? Around here, right? Mm. Or here? Uh, or here? Yeah. Here, 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 all right. And high ground. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna here here should do fine, but let me ask you this question. What if they TP in from here? Can you see him? Uh, yeah, right. So let me ask you again. Uh, where should you want to guarantee your safety from gangs if you try to push this tower? Shine high, high ground, right? Here, right? Okay. Even if you wanted here, you could see the rune, right? You could see the rune. Or even if you walk here, you could see the rune, you could see the shrine. But if anyone TP in from tier 2, can you see them? Yeah. No, I mean if, if you walk here. If you walk here. Oh, no, right? So the only uh, reasonable place should be here, right? Oh. Okay, so if you're so strong, you're so strong right now, like let's say you got your shadow blade in, in 12 minutes, 30 minutes. You're super strong, right? And then... Uh, you're trying to push, and then your teammates is just not giving a shit about you, right? That's what that's what pups do. They don't give a shit about you. So they go farming, and teammates trying to get his battle fury. Uh, what fury is this? Drow is getting his uh, dragon lance or shadow blade, and then Spectre is getting his radiance. And then Weaver is here trying to help, but he has no damage. So you're you're on yourself. So always always get a ward, and then you could always like run up from here, and then you plant here, and then you attend your push here. Would you agree with that? And then so so every time so this solves the issue, right? Like you wanted to you wanted to push this tower and then you suddenly see, oh my god, there are five of them sticking and then they, they kill me suddenly. Right? And then you'll be like, team, I sorry I I died. I mean you guys did not push. I suddenly died. And Sven suddenly came from my back and then I suddenly died here. Yeah. Right? That's your issue, right? Okay, so every time you have no because you, you died because you had no information and then you tried to attempt for something that is so dangerous. Uh, would you agree on that? Right? So every time uh there's five cores, always always buy a ward that is very 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 beneficial for your objective. Does that make sense? You got it, right? Okay. So let's say you're trying to okay, mid usually you broke mid because you, you won the lane, right? So I'm not gonna talk about mid tier one. I'm gonna talk about top tier one, okay? Top dire tier one. So where do you think it's uh it's safe to ward when you're attempting the dire tier one? Let's say it's still up here and then you got your dragon lens. Behind Be behind 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 the trees, they are rune. Yarun, rune, uh, right? Tree, uh, and this mm, behind the tree, yeah. right? Around this spot, right? Like this spot, right? Okay, so you you have the idea, you have the idea, but uh, remember next time, uh, ready to ready to execute such a thing because a ward only costs what fifty, right? Or sixty since the newest patch, sixty, yeah. So plan the ward here, and then you see everything. You see everything that's going on behind. So you, you can avoid gangs and everything, you can TP out when the time comes. So bottom tier one, it's here. And then top tier one, it's around here, the shrine. Uh, where, wherever you feel necessary, right? Okay, and then, yeah, go on, go on. Okay, back to that bottom tower tier three. Tier, bottom tier, tier one or tier, tier one, right, this one? Yeah, okay. Is I I die at, at this creep right? I die at this. Yeah, around creep. here, right? Yeah, correct. Uh, around here. So, if I know it's dangerous, mm, can I cannot push that tower? Correct. Uh, so what a best decision. What's the at best decision? Time. Like let's say let's say you are here, right? And then you're pushing this, at and then suddenly they come at, at five, time. right? Okay. So, um, think about it. 
do you have a TP off cool off cooldown, not on cooldown, but off cooldown while you're pushing this? Okay, okay, let's say let's say you have let's say you have one, alright? Let's say you have one. So imagine um if they TP it in, okay, that's the most dangerous stuff, they TP it in, and then you're like, oh god, they stick a size and then they TP it in. So what I would do, I would back off into this this area. Okay. This yeah, the trees, and then I would TP top. And then I'll try and then I'll pressure this tower. Does that make sense? That's how the rack. Yeah, this is tier uh, two. Yeah. Uh, then how to push? Or oh, also what right? Also what the base that makes you safe. Correct. When you correct. Push. Correct. Okay. Okay, but always think about always always when you push when you push a tower or when you farm some creeps or when you farm neutrals, always check uh what do they have. Okay. Yeah. So let's say let's say the let's say the Red King suddenly had a shadow blade. Let's say he had a shadow blade and then you, you were you were pushing and then your ward was covering you, right? So he shadow shadow bladed in and then he was like he whacked you, he stunned you, before you could react, his five five of the team show up and then you died, right? So when you rat, always 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 remember to check your enemy's items so you don't get surprise surprise butt sex, right? You don't you don't get like surprise, you know? You get what I mean? And then you don't die suddenly, yes. like for nothing. Okay, so this tactic works very well. When I push and then my, my supports, uh, they don't ward or they don't even pick the support, and then I want my lane. So I'll push, I'll push all the way, and then maybe I'll plant a ward here. Okay, I'll plant a ward here, because it's not, it's not obvious. Okay, and then when, when I see like three of them coming, if two of them I can handle because I'm super strong, right? I can just shadow blade them and then I can out and then I can requiem them, right? Okay. Then I get a double kill and then I'll continue my push, right? Yeah. So if I force three of them came in, so imagine how much time did you buy for your teammates to farm? Mm. Because think about it, right? Like when they when three of them give up their farm and then they try to defend this tower, they run all the way, let's say from mid, they run all the way top. How much time did they waste and then your teammates are using it to farm? Right? And then imagine when three of them they just came all the way and then you saw them, your, your ward spotted them out. You shadow bladed here, you TP bottom, got the kill here, and then you continue pushing. Yeah. yeah. You you look at how much gold how much resources that you, you bought for your team. Right? That's how you could you could do in solo MMR. Like this is this is the way for you to climb. Like you know your issues, so the next thing is to solve them. Okay. Um. All right. Is there anything that you want to ask? Like anything in particular that you want to ask? Yep, correct. Wait, you bought? Oh, okay. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that you bought. Alright. Okay, go ahead. Correct. Correct. Okay, when, when you push the tier 3, like let's say you are right now, let's say, let's say, alright, for example, that you are so strong right now, and then uh it's still hard to push tier three because it's tier three, right? And then you and then you have ages. You have ages, you have your items stronger than the stronger than the than the enemy. And then you suddenly when when you when you attempt tier three, they defend they defend the tier three, right? Okay, so in this case, there is something uh very important that I want you to know. That okay, so all the tier twos are gone, right? Okay, so where are your wards right now? Like, let me ask you. Uh, like from what I just said, right? 
where are your what supposed to be? Uh, uh, is it in their base or on the high ground? Yeah, correct. Right, it's like it's like around here and, and and here, right? Okay, so so the one thing that you should do right here when you have the edges is okay. In this case, if your teammates are still not pushing, okay, it's very very hard. Okay, let me just tell you. Let me, yeah, let me just tell you that it's very hard because what I usually I like to do in my party rank games is I'm gonna push up top. Okay. I'm gonna keep the wave around here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep farming here, uh, back and forth, back and forth until my teammate, four of them, they keep the wave here. Okay, so when when they push in, who's gonna come defend? Okay, imagine imagine it's four of them. It's four of them here. It's Spectre, Weaver, Draw, and Anti Mage. It's four of them here. All right, and then they 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 try they are trying to push uh tier three. So who do you think will defend? This tier three. Yeah. All five, right? Yeah. Because your team is super strong. Because you you broke all the towers and then you got gold. It's so much money there. So they'll bring five versus four. And what you should do is you should go all in right now. Split push. Because unless uh, you are very very skilled in team fights, split push is the safest option. After you get your edges and then you go tier three. Right. So once you lose your edges, it will be hard because um, you you lose you lose one life, and then the next thing you should do if if you can't siege anymore if if the Haska always comes back here and then he goes on you every time every time you try to siege. The next thing you should do is you wait for Roche to respawn and then you get the cheese and the ages. You get both, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's what you should do. By that time, you are super fat. Imagine you having a whole silver age and uh, a dragon land and maybe a hurricane pipe. Yeah, go ahead. All right. When you say you can't gank, can you can you tell me the specifics that why you can't gank? They will stick as five, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then where where do they go? Like like, what what do they usually do? Do they stick as five and then they smoke and then they gank one of you or what do they do? Sorry, what? Okay, so you know, you know, during this time, even even if I was a core and I was super strong, I would buy all four wards and then I would ward the whole area, like like I would ward like here, so that so they won't be ward here, right? If if you ward here, it's very unlikely that they would be ward, and then I would ward here. The next one I would ward around here, okay, maybe maybe here, maybe here, right? And then so imagine imagine this, right? You can see the whole area. If if they if they run out right, so I'll what here. The next one the next one I'll what here. I'll definitely what here. Okay? And then the next one maybe 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 I'll what here or or in the lane. So I get to see a hundred percent of their movements. Okay? So when so when, if if you say that they stick as five and then they come and farm this camp, right? They come and stick and farm this tree camp. So what you should do next? Push top, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You you got it, right? You got the hang of it. Yeah. So you pushed up, and then you and then your wards. Okay. Wh when you pushed up, let me ask you one question: How much concentration do you need when you're right when you're right clicking the tower? Okay. When when you when you like spam your right click, spam your right click on the tower, right? How much concentration do you put into this action? Very less, right? Like like. Close to zero, right? 
right? Okay, so what you should do when, when you're on the low ground or on the high ground, right click in the tower, so your watch is spotting out every movement. So what I will do is I will check them. Okay, uh this guy this guy has no TP, right? Let's, let's say it's not in his backpack. Okay, this guy has no TP, so he has he is no threat to me because he's so far out in the mid lane. Yeah, and then um okay, let, let me just do this. Okay, so I'll look at Haskar, okay, he has a TP, so he will TP. And then I'll look at Necro. He has TP as well, because we can't see his cooldown, right? I'll look at Sven, oh he has TP. So almost all of them has have TP. So I'll look at them. Okay, when will they TP? While, while I push, while I right click on the tower, my camera will be here. So I'll be looking at all these. I'll look I'll be looking at oh okay, Sven is TPing now. Okay, I think I should back right now. Okay, and then when I back, what do you do? What's next? What's next? No no wrong. Uh it's it's not it's not bottom because uh four of them is still in the map. Okay, what 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 should you do? Okay, let's say four of them are still farming here, okay? Let's say four of them are still farming here. And then Sven TP is home, TP is here. Correct, only Sven. But he's under tower, he's he's defending the creeps here. What should you do? Like wait until he, he like wait until he rotates, right? Like your ward is spotting up because your ward is on, on his high ground as well. So when when he moves, wherever he moves, you see, right? You are looking at every movement of his. So how much information do you do you get from it? All of it, right? You you get you are getting all the information when he's moving because your wards are there. And then when he moves out the base, you, you should be waiting for him here. And then you channel your requiem and then he dies. And then you rinse and repeat the whole thing. You go back top until someone comes back and defends. So when someone when let's say two of them come back and come back and defend, and then two of them will be vulnerable. Let's say let's say Wave King and Haskar goes back and defend. Okay. Okay, what's next? What should you do? Your your out is on cooldown. Sven is dead. What should you do? Okay, you can push other lane, but how far is this trip? two words here it's very near right compared to if you were to run from here all the way down here this wider curve they're taking so less time until they see that you're pushing the wave here they'll be already here waiting for you right okay so what's the other alternative that two of them is defending and two of them is is still farming okay what should you do gang them right because you are so strong, you're so strong right now, nobody can stop you. Like it's only a, a necro and a morphing. So what can they do, right? Yeah. So if they are dead, you should be pushing again, right? Yeah. So just rinse and repeat until the towers go down. You can do this alone in, in, in a 1k, 2k, even a 3k game, you can do that. 